Hello gentlemen, uh, I'm very glad to have on the white sofa Aris uh, Quadri and uh, Gianluca again. I think you know Gianluca already. Aris uh, is working for R&D, Clay Park is R&D in Italy. And what I just learned is, um, for how long time are you working uh, for Clay Park already? Più meno da vent'anni. So, more or less 20 years he's working in the company. Wow, that's a long time. And uh, I just heard also that, uh, because me personally, I know the gold is getting free very well. But uh, Aris just told me that uh, he did one of the prototypes by himself of the Golden Scan 2. Yes, exactly. And that has been a kind of a development because uh, the Golden Scans, uh, the Golden Scan 1, the, uh, some other manufacturers came on with these uh, wonderful scanners, we call them. And uh, you know, that left also uh, were some milestones on the market. Partire da Gold Scan 2 e da Gold Scan 3, anche tutti gli altri competitor hanno, hanno seguito un po' l'andazzo, per cui sono andati, a creare, sono andati un po' a creare un riferimento, una pietra miliare. Sì. Per il, diciamo che, che Clay Pachi, But we can say that già vent'anni fa, Clay already 20 years ago, ha, ha dato quelli che sono stati i punti di riferimento nel, nel mercato del lighting. Ha given the reference and the keystones for the lighting industry. Partendo da tutta la linea dei Golden Scan, starting from the Golden Scan age, per cui degli specchi mobili, fino poi ad arrivare alle teste mobili. Until to the moving heads and to the new kind of moving heads. That brings me to my first question. You know, I remember the Golden Scan, of course, too. And when I mean, you look and open the Golden Scan, it was very visible that, to be honest, you had a lot of space. <laughs> yes. Now we are talking about, today, we are talking about a QWO800. And it's, I think, the most compact moving light, the most powerful moving light in the industry. And uh, so today it's like a miniature of uh, technological, technological design. How do you see it? Is, it, is, is uh, today the development of such a picture highly sophisticated and very complicated? Or how do you see it? Assolutamente. Le macchine attuali sono molto più complicate. La tecnologia è avanzata, il mercato richiede sempre macchine più potenti e nello stesso tempo sempre più leggere. So for sure the new uh, the new fixtures that we are that we are proposing to the market are for sure more complex, somehow more complicated because uh, the trend of the market is of course to ask for more powerful uh, lamps and at the same time for more compact ones. So this is leading our <coughs> our own policy to miniaturization and to microengineering. Another question which many customers do have, and I've heard it here on the show place a couple of times, when is a manufacturer relaunching a scanner? Quando rifaremo una scanner? Questa è una bella domanda. That's a pretty nice question, sir. Molti, molti clienti ci stanno richiedendo che Clay Pachi eh, riprogetti un nuovo scanner con l'attuale la tecnologia naturalmente, per cui uno scanner leggero, piccolo, di una certa potenza. So that's right, uh, the market is actually asking now at the moment uh, to somehow remake a scanner with the, with, the, with the technology that you have at the moment, so small, compact and with a high output. Infatti, attualmente abbiamo a disposizione delle lampade eh, molto più potenti e molto più performanti, che potrebbero essere appunto dedicate in futuro a quello che è. Uh, and right now we have some lamps which uh, in the future may be uh, applied to this technology because they are quite compact and with a very high brightness at the same time. Potrebbe, potrebbe essere un buon ritorno dello scanning. It could be a good comeback for the scanning technology. Uh, Clipaki customers do know 
that uh, the gold scans, uh, electronics, they were delivered and supplied and developed by a partner company called Pulsa. We also know that the first uh, moving heads from Kleepaki uh, were using another PCB developed by another partner of uh, Kleepaki. Not many people know, and I think uh, this is what we want to tell people right now, is that the latest uh, moving heads from Kleepaki, they are all featuring electronics which are developed in-house. And uh, quite a big step, so this means actually that uh, the uh, skills and the competences of developing electronics has moved internally to the R&D department of Kleepaki. Assolutamente, eh, per fare questo grosso passo abbiamo eh, diciamo così, acquistato in, nel Team Clay Pachi eh, de, degli ingegneri elettronici, avere una propria elettronica controllata nello sviluppo direttamente dal, dal, dall'R&D Clay Pachi ci dà probabilmente quella marcia in più, eh, affidandosi comunque a qualcuno a qualcun altro di esterno non è così performante come seguire il progetto passo, by passo per, pa per passo internamente a quello che è il nostro R&D. So uh, the tendency of the moment you are perfectly right is to bring in house all the new electronics because being such a dynamic company and having an external supplier was somehow for the moment for the actual moment was somehow a, a nonsense. So we actually hired uh, electronic engineers for the, in order to develop the product uh, based on our own specifications so that we can be fast enough to change everything as we need. I think uh, I like that idea because we see it from the car manufacturers. Cars are not just uh, cars anymore with engine and four wheels and you know and uh, things which you uh, are necessary for, for, for a car. But uh, it is extremely important for car manufacturers to look into electronics, uh, into uh, interactive systems and so on. And so it is for us as a manufacturer of lighting fixtures. Uh, we can talk and implement technologies in the future for making uh, the uh, light more intelligent, more self-automatically uh, programmable as such. <laughs> We see it already, you know, uh, so the latest uh, firmware, you know, is implementing RDM technology and uh, networking technology and bringing that into all our fixtures. Um, I, I believe that, uh, I think the amount of people working uh, behind electronics and working on electronics will, uh, may actually increase in the future. Do you see it the same way? Yeah. Yeah. Effettivamente, effettivamente l'elettronica è diventata la parte fondamentale del, del, delle attuali macchine sul mercato, eh, fa un'enorme differenza, soprattutto per quanto riguarda l'affidabilità e, e in parte anche per quanto si riesce a sviluppare eh, nel, con, con i vari firmware. Eh, attualmente Clipaki ha fatto un salto di qualità. Attualmente sto dicendo dalle ultime serie alfa perché abbiamo introdotto sistemi elettronici eh, totalmente innovativi come possono essere l'autofocus eh, che è stato una secondo me un'ottima un invenzione, una bellissima invenzione, apprezzatissima dal mercato, eh, un sistema che ci ha impegnato per vari mesi però ci ha dato delle grosse soddisfazioni. So, uh, the latest uh, technology introductions in terms of electronic and firmware are most probably the, the, the key to the success of the new series because thanks to, as an example, the autofocus capability or the DynaQ, so a combination of the autofocus focusing and on the stunning speed of the optics that we are having in the light is bringing the light to a new level and the company also to a new level. So, uh, so this is something really vital for us, this is my personal opinion.
accepting the difference between us and other manufacturers, of course I'm talking about mainly copiers, manufa copy, man copy manufacturers and lower level ones. So, and even again, if I can add my card, what um, we are trying to focus on at the moment is uh, bringing in the light the request from the customers, because this is what the real life, the on-field people need at the moment. What I see uh, when I look at R&D, Clipex's uh, R&D uh, today is uh, young people. There had been a kind of uh, uh, change in uh, in people recently, but what I see also is that kind of family thinking. I think everyone who is now listening and watching us uh, knows a person uh, who has been many many years involved in the. Uh, development of Clay Packy, Mr. Angelo Cavanaro, and uh, he's he's retired, isn't he? Or no? Eh, Angelo non si è eh, non si è ritirato e eh, è ancora fa parte ancora della nostra famiglia. Eh, ci supporta in quello che è la ricerca del nuovo. Eh, e riguardo quel, quel, quanto si dice che in Clipachi c'è molta gente giovane, è vero, l'R&D è formato soprattutto da giovani perché i giovani sono appunto eh, il nuovo motore, eh, effettivamente eh, i giovani portano diciamo, innovazione, idee giovani, idee nuove ed è questo su cui lei parte punta. So uh, Angelo is not retired, he's still with us and you are perfectly right, he's in the company since uh, 20 years probably and anyway he is working with us as an innovation technology manager so this means that he's bringing us together with the new persons to the future and Alice was also saying that it's true the R&D in Klipaki now is based on young people because young people can uh, can bring the company to the new things have fresh mind good ideas and again uh, I also confirm what you were saying about being a family company still so we enjoy what we do we uh, we like to do things that are working properly that give satisfaction to people so if we could have a motto for this is listen to the past and hear the future yeah very well described thank you so much the uh, um, what I want to say also is uh, I think the secret for the success of for example the 1500 series lies in the fact of a genius combination of uh, optics combined with uh, wonderful motor driving technologies making the zoom that fast as it is making all mechanical uh, motorized uh, mechanics as fast as possible and that is creating actually the success of uh, that series. And that has to do, I think, with personally you, because uh, behind actually the electronics, you know, uh, that is highly important. And uh, keep one name in your mind, you know, Mr. Aris Kwadi is just sitting in front of you. Vero, effettivamente, per arrivare ad avere un prodotto di qualità, bisogna toccare e portare alla massima qualità ogni parte di questo prodotto, dall'ottica alla meccanica all'elettronica, per cui eh, non si ha mai limite nel migliorarlo. E infatti spesso volentieri migliora, eh, diciamo, le cose migliori, le, gli aggiustamenti finali ce li dà il mercato, ce li dà il cliente affezionato che porta a, tra virgolette, alla perfezione quello che è il nostro prodotto. Il nostro prodotto è perfetto. La chiave per il successo di un prodotto è la meccanica, la ottica e l'elettronica, ma ciò che realmente fa il prodotto grande è la combinazione di loro. E la maggior parte dei tempi è il long term customer o il partner che abbiamo lavorato da anni e anche da anni, nel mio caso, perché ci sono dei really brillanti customer che abbiamo conosciuto da un breve tempo that is giving the final touch to the product so sometimes also after the product is launched it can get to a much higher level I personally can't wait for the next exhibition to see the latest developments uh, coming from R&D in uh, Bergamo 
and uh, so far I can only say thank you and uh, have a good and safe trip back home tonight. Thank you. And uh, keep on going with the good stuff you're developing. Thank you so much. Me too. Thank you.